So who are the pre-Raphaelites and what are their contribution to art? Let's take a quick look at the who, why and where. Take a walk with me and look at some beautiful paintings while figuring out why they created a brotherhood. See you, on the other side. Sunday Painter. Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. Well, pre-Raphaelites hold a special place in my heart. When I was a younger artist, a much, much younger artist, I would spend hours looking at the jewel-like pictures. Checking out the same art books time after time, out of the school library and lug them home. Like a kid in a candy store I would get more than I could carry and some of the books had a lot of gravity attached to them. Sitting at home thinking of fame and fortune if I could paint this way. Getting out my number two pencil, and with my imagination, I was going to set the world on fire, drawing all of the paintings. To become one of them, and learn the quality they had in their work. Now looking back, I never read any of the art books, or why they did what they did. My mind would ponder on the adventures and the designs of the flowing lines, that was like watching smoke that I wanted to emulate. Now much later in life, I see that if I learned about the artist that I admired, and wanted to be, it would have added a depth I could not perceive at the time of my younger self. Every time I revisit these movements, it adds a new point of view, which makes my art better. If I could go back in time I would tell my younger self, read the books and ask the questions, why? Now, on to the pre-Raphaelites. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, later known as the Pre-Raphaelites, was a group of English painters, poets, and art critics, founded in 1848. There were seven members who formed the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood was only ever a loose association of artists. William Holman Hunt, John Everett Millay, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, William Michael Rossetti, James Collinson, Frederick George Stevens, and Thomas Woolner. I will do individual videos on these artists later. The group sought a return to the abundant detail, intense colors and complex compositions. The Brotherhood believed the classical poses and elegant compositions of Raphael, hence the name Pre-Raphaelite. The group accepted the concepts of history painting, to imitation of nature, as central to the purpose of art. They defined themselves as a reform movement, created a distinct name for their form of art, and published a periodical, The Germ, to promote their ideas. The group's debates were recorded in the Pre-Raphaelite Journal. The Brotherhood separated after almost five years. Influenced by Romanticism, the members thought freedom and responsibility were inseparable. They were particularly fascinated by medieval culture, believing it to possess a spiritual and creative integrity that had been lost in later eras. The emphasis on medieval culture clashed with principles of realism which stressed the independent observation of nature. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood was greatly influenced by nature and its members used great detail to show the natural world using bright and sharp focused techniques on a white canvas. In attempts to revive the brilliance of color found in Quattrocento art, Hunt and Millet developed a technique of painting in thin glazes of pigment over a wet white ground in the hope that the colors would retain jewel-like transparency and clarity. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood was greatly influenced by nature, used great detail to show the natural world using bright and sharp focus techniques on a white canvas. Developing a technique of painting in thin glazes. The Brotherhood found support from the critic John Ruskin, who praised its devotion to nature and rejection of conventional methods of composition. The pre-Raphaelites were influenced by Ruskin's theories. By 1853 the original PRB had virtually dissolved, with only Holman Hunt remaining true to its stated aims. But the term pre-Raphaelite stuck to Rossetti and others, including William Morris and Edward Burne Jones. After 1856, Dante Gabriel Rossetti became an inspiration for the medievalizing strand of the movement. He was the link between the two types of pre-Raphaelite painting, nature and romance, after the PRB became lost in the later decades of the century. Rossetti, although the least committed to the Brotherhood, continued the name and changed its style. He began painting versions of femme fatales. The ideals of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood influenced many interior designers and architects, arousing interest in medieval designs and other crafts leading to the arts and crafts movement. 
The Preraphaelite desire for more extensive affiliation between painting and literature also manifested in illustration. Illustration is a more direct unification of these media and, like subject painting, can assert a narrative of its own. For the Preraphaelites, and Dante Gabriel Rossetti specifically, there was anxiety about the constraints of illustration. Rossetti's desire to not just support the poet's narrative, but to create an allegorical illustration that functions separately from the text as well. In this respect, Preraphaelite illustrations go beyond depicting an episode from a poem, but rather function like subject paintings within a text. The Brotherhood was a group of young men, who challenged the art establishment of the day. Inspired by the real world around them, yet took imaginative license in their art. With Rossetti came to be seen as a precursor of the wider European symbolist movement. It is important to remember that the Pre-Raphaelites were not only dreamers, but also innovators. The movement united them in their refusal to recognize boundaries between literature and fine art, their insistence on experimenting with material, form and technique, and their irrepressible, unrespectable spirit in an age that prized conformity. There you have it, dreamers who love nature with painting and literature. Seeking to make the art a better place for them and artists to come. If you like the video please subscribe to my art channel for more art documentaries. Thanks for watching.